Hey everyone, well here it is. This is the pre-release version for my new Minecart Rapid Transit Station version 4. Now even though this is a pre-release, uh, the station itself is fully functional and feature complete. It's just lacking all of the extra non-essential things that I usually include in my stations, such as roof schematics, track pieces, and the underground variant of this station. Now I've decided to make this pre-release available to you guys, uh, mainly to get some feedback and also to address any bugs or issues that you guys may discover. So without further ado, uh, let me show you inside. Alright, so here I am in front of one of my stations on my test world here. And this particular station is named Beta Station. To gain entry, I'll just need to walk through this turnstile here. And we want to depart from the station, so fortunately these signs uh, point us in the right direction. Just walk down this corridor here, and then take a left here, and here we are. So right now we're in the main hall of the station. And from here, players can choose to travel in either one of two directions, either in a northbound direction or a southbound direction. Basically just like a real-life subway. So in this case, I'm going to go southbound, and walk up this staircase, take a left, and here we are. Uh, this thing here is the southbound departure bay. Now, departures in MRT version 4 are much more improved. A uh, player does not need to push any buttons. The cart is actually already waiting for them right in front there. And all the player needs to do is right-click on the cart, and they're already on their way to the next station. Now. One of the goals in MRT version 4 it was that I had in mind was to make the tr track that the player travels on as flat and straight as possible. And you'll see that in the upcoming arrival bay uh, shortly. This is a bit different from most other advanced minecart stations where there are a lot of dips and curves and that sort of thing. So here we are in the arrival bay. I can see which station here. I'm going to stay in the cart. Chime, the uh, cart waits and chime plays and I'm already off to the next station. So yeah. That's basically how players would travel in between stations. Now for this uh, up, this upcoming next station, I'm going to get out of the cart and you'll see uh, now what happens instead. So I'm going to get out of the cart. Uh, you can see I can try to push the cart, but it's not going to move. Very carefully, yeah, it really happened really fast there, but what actually happened was a piston to the right of me pushed me down this hole that I'm in right now. And also this, there's another piston that retracted this glass block and allowed me to fall into this hole. Now it's actually covered back up. So actually when I, if I try to fly or jump up there, I can't. It basically blocks me from getting back in the arrival bay. The only direction I can get out is this way and conveniently that takes me back to the main hall of this station. The whole point of this new arrival bay mechanism is to keep uh, not only carts out of the uh, rival bay, but also to clear players out so they don't go in there and interfere with other incoming carts and players. And this is this helps, and this is probably something I haven't seen in other most other stations, so this helps keep the system pretty reliable. Alright, so I'm going to show you a few more things about the rival bays here. Uh, here is the incoming track zone, and you'll see that there are actually three arrival bays per uh, incoming direction. You'll see it's so arrival bay one. Arrival Bay 2, and there's a number 3 over here. And the well, reason for this is to make the station uh, multiplayer capable. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to simulate uh, four people coming in. Well, I'll put in four empty carts that coming into the station, and you'll see what happens. One, two, three. Oh, that's four. Okay, so we'll see the first four, three carts uh, went to the rival bays, and they're actually now uh, making their way out. And that fourth uh, cart you, you saw um, just looped around and waited for one of the bays to come in. And now it's already on its way. Uh, went into bay one and already on its way out. So yeah, so that helps keep. Um, SMP capable. Uh, I'll show you one more thing. Now, when carts uh, leave out of the arrival bay uh, this way, uh, they hit this uh, occupied cart detector. This is a plate on a fence, and it says this help separate uh, the occupied carts. So, occupied carts, you can see the detector is actually engaging this switch. So, occupied carts will go out, uh, out, of, out of the station uh, straight, up, straight ahead, and empty carts will get switched off. 
up this ramp to this next level and through this little chute here. Now what's different from here from version 3 is the in version 3 uh, empty carts would actually go into the same dispenser on their own own side the, on their own direction but um, in this case there empty carts are actually going to the dispenser on the other side of the station for the opposite direction. So for example, the northbound carts are going to the southbound dispenser over there uh, and vice versa. Um, this is to help uh, in the cases of terminus stations and this particular station is a terminus station. You can see there's nothing else on going here. This is a, this is a terminus and in terminus stations uh, Carts only come in from one direction and leave from the other. So usually, usually um, the number of carts in dispensers is pretty imbalanced. So uh, this helps uh, keep keep the dispensers uh, uh, in check. So all right, uh, one last thing I'll show you is uh, in this uh, area here. There are a whole bunch of emergency exits all over the place. So in case a player uh, and makes an early exit out of the cart uh, or gets stuck on the track or something, they can just go to the emergency exit oops, and uh, we come back to a safe area, like so. All right, so I will, oops, I did not want to do that. I will replace that later. <laughs> um, now I'm going to show you some features about the departure bay. Uh, here, uh, let's say somebody came in here and actually removed this cart. Or for some reason, this cart was unavailable. So you'll see that it's empty. Um, the player does have a way of requesting another cart, and they can just push this uh, button over here. In general, though, they shouldn't push this button most of the time, because uh, usually there will be a cart there, and all they need to do is right-click it. Uh, you'll also notice that uh, if, you, if there is a cart in there, and somebody that happens to do push the button, the button not just calls another cart, but also launches any existing carts that are inside the bay at that time. And you'll see that cart actually will actually, if I do it one more time, if you look very carefully, you'll see the cart actually went to the other, other dispenser, as I mentioned earlier. And finally, one last thing I'll show you about the station. Over here is the whole cart loading area. Um, up here you can see the the status of the dispenser, uh, either it's empty or full, which is pretty useful. Uh, and here, uh, this under this uh, trapdoor, you can load the uh, dispenser with carts. So, and compared to version 3, uh, because we're not use we're using new uh, cart detectors, we can actually load it much faster. You'll see that I loaded two in succession there, um, but there's a switch there that keeps, uh, pr basically helps prevent jams and prevents that second card from jamming up the dispenser. So you'll see the first card went into the dispenser, but the second card got rejected and went into this overflow cart area. Also, if the dispenser is actually full, uh, also carts will jump, uh, basically fall into this overflow cart area as well. All right, so that is pretty much all I really wanted to show you at this point. Uh, again, this is just a pre-release version, so the station is fully functional, as I've just shown you, but there are still some extras and perhaps some issues that I need to work out, but it is all working. So feel free to test it out. Uh, the download link is available in the video description. Uh, this is, You can play around in this save file, which has these four stations that you can uh, play around in, and also some schematics, some basic schematics that you can use to import some the station into your own world. So uh, thank you for watching, and uh, yeah, have a nice day.